Hello everyone, you're welcome to Jam Vibes. The Senzo Mayuas case is getting amplified as far as time goes on and more insider revelations are being made. In today's video, apparently Senzo Mayuas alleged killer celebrated the football star's death and they drank so much alcohol already, they went to party and enjoyed themselves. Before I give you all the entire details of what was revealed in court, please do well to follow Jam Vibes, like this video and drop a comment after watching the entire video at the end of the day, please. A significant development unfolded in the Senzo Meiwa murder trial case as an eyewitness took the stand in the Pretoria High Court, alleging that the accused individual celebrated the news of the football star's tragic departure from this world. Constable Sizwe Zungu, who has a personal connection to the accused, provided testimony on Thursday shedding light on the events surrounding the crime. According to Zungu, he actually had that power, he had that chance of encountering all five men shortly before Senzo Meiwa's untimely demise and observed them so keenly, again at a hostel near the location where the incident occurred. Also, he had the opportunity to as well see them after Senzo Meiwa had passed away to the point where one of the accused is even the one who announced to him that Senzo Meiwa has passed away. But guess what? At the time that this announcement was made to Mr. Zungu, the press didn't have it on social media yet and he was in disbelief and kept wondering why do these people think that Senzo Meiwa has passed away when the press even doesn't know that the Senzo Meiwa has passed away? How come they know that Senzo Meiwa has passed away without the press actually publishing it? At start, it seemed like a joke, but then the next day when he actually saw it all over the social media, he then understood the message that was being cut across. Given to the fact that they first actually were around the hostel, then stepped out, out of a sudden he lost sight of them and they came back hastily changing dropping weapons and stuff like that i'm like yo that's so in-depth already zungu is in trouble for revealing such revelations yo because nobody does that like who does that Constable Sizwe Zungu, who has a personal connection with one of the accused, has decided to actually send this accused under the bus. According to Zungu, he encountered all the five men shortly after Senzo was actually claimed. The accused individuals are facing charges related to the 2014 crime in which the Bafana Bafana captain was fatally shot at the Fosturus home of his then-girlfriend's mother, singer Kelly Kumalo. The constable recounted that in the days following Meiwa's departure from the world, the descriptions of the intruders provided by the media matched exactly the appearance of the men who had been with him at the Soto Hostel. Over the years, Zungu became increasingly convinced of his suspicions. One of the factors contributing to his certainty was witnessing the accused individual celebrate upon hearing the news of Meiwa's departure from this world. In his words, he said, and I quote, They celebrated with a bottle of whiskey, and then after the allegations directed at them. Zungu did not keep his suspicions to himself, yo. He promptly informed Cluster Commander General Leshebane about his observations and concerns. But to his greatest shock and dismay, this same Leshebane revealed to him that this case isn't supposed to go any further because what he said is true, but then again, for his own safety, he better stays mute. That actually explains why for all these years, he decided to stay mute and only come out now and his life right now is in serious risk as he even revealed that some of the accused two of them's families tried to claim his life at some point the emergence of an eyewitness who claims to have witnessed the accused individual celebrating senzo Meiwa's death adds a significant layer again to the ongoing trial already the testimony of constable sizwe zungu not only provides insight into the events leading up to the crime, but also raises questions about the motivations and actions of the accused. As the trial progresses, the court will carefully evaluate the evidence presented and work towards uncovering the truth behind the high-profile case. In the comment section, you all tell me what you think about this. I love you all.